holiday and embody the Lord's Supper in that way. Just ideas. The service of listening. Now that's something you can practice already today while we're down there. How much do we talk? How much do we listen? Did you ever think that you can serve somebody by just offering them an ear? Tell me your story. Tell me. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how it's going. You know, that's a service to serve your brother and sister like that. The service of bearing others' burdens. Did you ever think, uh, I don't want to get too involved with that person because they seem to have a pretty messed up life and uh, let me go to that other person. They seem to have everything figured out. That's an easier friendship to choose. <laughs> Is that how we should reason in church? No, no. If you have a burden, I want to share that with you. I want to be there for you if I can in any way. I want to take that burden. I want to pray for that thing that you're praying for. I, I want to be there with you. That's a service. That's a way that we can serve each other. Another service, sharing the word of life with one another. Do you realize? I just shared that, right? What did I say? This was a word of life that somebody shared with me. They served me. Because to doing that, they, they ministered to me. Do you know how much you can serve others? Your brothers and sisters, by sharing the truth, maybe they're discouraged and they need encouragement. Maybe they're going on a wrong path, and you need to tell them that that's not going to bear good consequences. And if we have guests, are we going to, at that table, are we going to talk about our Lord Jesus Christ and share the words of love? Do we have those words in us to share? And last but not least, this is a hard one. The service of being served. Now listen, the service for those of us who struggle, right, to have somebody serve us, who want to always show we don't need anything, we have it all together. You know what? You are not serving your brother and sister who wants to serve you. Does that make sense? If you want to come and serve me, and I do not allow you to, I do not allow you to do something for me, to help me, I am not serving you. Because if I allow you to do it, that's a way of me even serving you and giving you that opportunity. Now, isn't that deep? Now, you see how many kind of serve, what does it mean to serve? Is it only being on a committee, as much as I would love for all of us to be involved in a committee? But I'm just saying, it's not only that. It's really about all these ways that we can serve each other. And the table of the Lord, the Lord's Supper, is the place where Jesus, he embodied all of this. Now, isn't that, isn't that rich? It's not only about him dying and us remembering that. It's that, but it's so much more.